Well, good morning, bee friends. Wanda from GNR Bee Farm Homestead. Come down to check out the bee situation. It's been raining the past few days and very windy here in the Northeast. So I come to check our hives to see what we gotta do cause we had a lot of capped brood in there. But look at the bees in the second hive orange and yellow pollen going in like crazy so i think um i come down to assess everything we've got a little bit of activity on hive one but not as much as hive two so we have two hives which consist of two deeps one is the food top is the food the bottom is the brood box and that goes for both about a week ago, I switched the boxes around to put the main brood on the bottom. So, and I noticed that, you know, it had a lot of, um, you know, frames in there with a lot of brood. So, uh, today, I need, to, I need to make that decision of when I'm going to um, do a split. It'll be my first time ever doing splits in my boxes. So I've contacted my bee friend um, where I got my nuke box from last year. And um, we're in the middle of April. So in order to continue to get ready for the flow of summer, I contacted him to see if I could get um, two virgin queens instead of trying to queen one, you know, let them queen one, which would take 20 some plus days. And by that time, you know, you're probably in the summer. So that's what I decided to do. So today I'm down here. I'm going to assess how many I'm going to wind up with hopefully four single boxes so the tops here i don't have a suit on i'm just down here assessing but this top box here and then this top box here will be coming off and they will be my splits so um that way we can give them more room because they're going to get ready and bust out at the seams. Like you can already see that they are in this box. They are, look at the pollen coming in. Let me just sit here. Look at the orange pollen. They are just steady tearing it up. That is amazing. They're super busy. This has always been the best hive, hive two. Um, so this is my thought. So right now I'm going to assess my space. I may have to bring some pallets down and um, cause we have these going through the bricks instead of um, on top. So I'll have to reassess my situation. Move these bales out of the way and um, hopefully be able to have time to go in the hive, find my queen, put her in the bottom, and take the queen excluder, put it in the middle, give them time to move up so I'll have some bees worker bees and then I can put the uh, new queen in there in a couple days because tomorrow is Monday and it's supposed to rain tomorrow but we're supposed to be good for Tuesday and Wednesday so hopefully I can get this all done prior to Tuesday and hopefully the second queen will be ready to for to be to pick up all right well I got some things I need to do that's my plan um, hope you're out today. It's a little breezy here, but um, we'll see what's going on. 
and uh, I'll go get my bee suit on. But for right now, I just want to assess the area of how and where I'm going to put these two other boxes. So, okay, we'll be back later once we uh, get a little bit more organized on what to do with the uh, other two bee boxes. We're getting ready to go in hive two because that's the busiest hive. And um, we're gonna check them. And hopefully um, over here at the end, well, I don't know if I can do this, but I'm gonna try. I made another spot. Um, I don't know if you could see that, but I made another spot for a um, another um, another um, hive. That's where the top part's going to go when I do the split right beside it. So it's going to be number four. So for right now, I need to get in here and see if I can locate the queen. Hopefully I can put her in the bottom and then put the queen excluder on. And then um, Tuesday, we're supposed to get some nice weather because tomorrow it's supposed to rain. And then that way we can um, let give them a day to rest and move the bees up without the queen because I got a new queen coming. So, and it's a little breezy today, so I hope my phone doesn't fall over. Um, and I hope the smoker acts right. The bees are super duper busy today. So let's uh, see what happens in the hive too. And hopefully we can locate her and just do what we need to do. But I can just tell you, the bees are super busy today bringing in pollen and they are hungry they've been eating last year's um last season's um honey that's been in there so um we'll get them down in there my main concern is to just try and locate the queen and um get her down and then I could get the queen excluder on. Sometimes it's not that easy, but we'll see what happens. And hope that they're not, um, they are super busy though, bringing in pollen. We have a lot, we have dandelions. Look at them, man, they have exploded in this hive. Look at that. No queen. I'm just gonna set the cover over there. Wow. Let me just see if I can show you before I even spray them. We are like one, two, one, two, three, four, five, almost six frames wide of bees on the top. Check that out. That is unbelievable. Wow. Okay, let's get in the hive. I'll try to show you as much as I can. That is unreal. Okay. The sun is in my face, so it kind of like doesn't help me when I'm trying to see. Okay, girls. Let's be nice today. I just want to find the queen because I need to do a split majorly and give them more space. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we can uh, see what's going on. Got my hanger so we'll just have to deal with it get that first frame out and it's usually this is the food one 
And this is the one that I'm going to use to do another split with. See, they're eating all the honey. Yeah, that's good. See, they're eating the honey out of this one. This one's nowhere near heavy as it was. But it is a nice food frame. Okay, I can set this one. Well, I'm gonna do it this way. Because I don't want it to I don't want to mess it up. I would love to just find the queen and get her um, on the bottom. Or cage her, one, till I can get the bottom to open. This is food. This one's still kind of heavy. They're eating the syrup. They're just feeding off of it, really. That's what that looks like. Okay, so that one's a nice food frame. It would be nice if she was already in the bottom. If she's not on the top, then I would say she would be in the bottom. Because I got a queen coming. I see some pollen. This one's, um, they're eating out of this one. I don't see any eggs in this one. They don't like it when you blow, but you have to blow a little bit to move them. Look at those packed bees. And this is April. Winter was very mild, so the bees are like, booming in April. I see some drones. I'm trying to just get them to move a little. To see if I see anything. I see pollen. There's pollen. I see pollen in this one. So I would just need some brood for up in this box. Trying to be easy in case I do see the queen because I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, larva brood in this one.
See, she has been up in here because I see larva in this one. Now I just need to see if I can find her. Because it's really important that I find her to put her in the bottom. Well, she's definitely been here and laid some eggs a couple days ago. Yeah, we got cat brood. So this would be a great one to keep as long as I could find her. This side too, yeah. Yeah, she's laid eggs on this side. She's definitely laying up top. Be great if I could find her. Yeah, this one's um, got quite a bit of cat brood. So this whole frame is a good cat brood, has pollen on the end. And we have eggs, larva. But I don't see the queen. That's a good frame for both. That was number four. Can't imagine what the bottom looks like. Trying to be careful. I see pollen. Ooh, I dropped it. Well, that wasn't smart, but that's okay. We got pollen. Got some eggs. I hope the queen wasn't on there. Oh, I dropped it. That wasn't smart. Guess I ought to get some smoke. Calm them down. Woo, that's a pollen and we got some um, eggs over here. I'll just spray me so they don't think I'm pissing them off. <laughs> that wasn't good. That's a nice frame they're doing. Got some eggs right here, down here, pollen. Got some brood building. They're filling this in. This frame is empty except for the eggs and the um, pollen. Oh yeah, they're covering the eggs up in this one. She's been here laid. Ain't sure what that is. Might be a cell of some sort, I'm not sure. But I'm cutting it off. 
I'm not liking it, so. We're not keeping that cell. All right, we got some eggs there. Right there. hoping to find her it would make it so much easier I don't see her there either. My gosh, the bees are like everywhere. Gotta hold on to this frame. It's a little breezy today. Lots of eggs on this one. Nice brood pattern. Boy, they, boy, she, she has been busy up here on this one too. Got some drone cells. That's a nice pattern in the middle. And I see larvae in there. Still don't see her. She could have been on any of these because they're laying. Well, because I really don't want to put my new queen. You know, on here, if she is in here, on the top. Because she uh, definitely would not last long. Oh my, we got some cell building going on. That looks like... Um, Well, it looks like we got some cell building on going on here. Um, but nothing, well, that one looks like it's capped over, which I'm gonna break. 
and it looks like two. So I think I'm gonna break those because I don't like that. If I can find the queen, see if I got any eggs in this one. Where are you, queenie? Don't need no uh, swarming. Well, let's make sure I don't can't find her. There's larva on this frame though. So she hasn't been but a few days up here. They need room. This is probably not a good idea, but I did it. Okay, that might buy me some time. I hope. All right, little girl. We have got to find this queen. Look at that. Cells there. Empty. Empty, empty, empty. Okay. Well, I don't see her on this one either, but I did break those cells apart. I see some pollen. Pollen, this is a good pollen one.
making sure she's not on the outside of it. Man, I just have not seen her at all. And I should be able to see her because she's got a green dot. I'm holding on to this frame. Okay, well, I do not see the queen unless she's somewhere else in the bottom. But we are packed up here, let me tell you. Try not to hurt them. Regardless, we need a new box, so. Because this one has exploded in numbers. And there's at least um, three or four frames of um, brood and no queen, which I am just going to look real quickly again. This one's food though. sure what to do because I can't find her. Trying to smoke them down some. thing I could do is take this box off and look in the bottom and um, this is a food one too come on girls they're on the end so Not the normal way of doing it, put it back, but when they're on the end. I need some more space. There we go.
hard to see. Sun's right in your face. There we go. Man, boy, is this one full. set it over here to the side so I can um, see what's going on as far as the other. See if I can find the queen down in this one before I move this box over. Let's get this off. Hopefully she's down in the bottom and then I can just put the queen excluder on. Because there's enough brood and resources up here for them um, to move them to a new hive. So let's see what happens. set her right there oh my gosh look at that tell me we haven't exploded huh oh my we need a major split right okay let's see what's going on hope you can still see let's see if we can't find the queen that's all I'm worried about at the moment. Can you see? Okay, I hope so. That wind is bad today. that first one out it's not so bad they're eating the um, they're cleaning this one out and eating off of it do not see the queen on that one so that's a good thing so we'll lean that one up against that This is a honey frame. Don't see a queen. They busted this is this, they busted this one open. They're eating off of it. I don't know if I see any cells. Mm -hmm. 
looking for eggs. No. No queen. Not on that one anyway. Ton of bees. They're building comb. Some dr drone comb down at the bottom there hanging. I see some pollen. Don't see the queen. Well, I guess we need a little smoke. Quite a few drones in this box. Look at that brood. That is awesome. We got some cat brood, major cat brood. An empty cell there. Look like we got some um, Cell building on this frame, too. Look at that. What do you think?
Queen cells or swarm cells? Looks like a peanut to me. And it's hanging off the bottom, so that's what I'm thinking. Swarm cells. But I could be wrong. It's my, first, my second year, so I don't know a whole lot. And I don't see the queen yet. She's been laying. Because there's lots and lots of eggs and brood. Not sure what to do with them. Cut them off, buy myself some time. Hopefully that will help. I don't know. I'm just trying to find the queen. That looks like drone cells on this side, so I'll leave them alone. Boy, that worker bee is like buzzing around my head. Good thing I got this suit on, because she ain't too happy about it. Well, still don't see no queen. Boy, is this packed. Definitely got to put a box on. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Feels like we're in summertime. There's brood. Boy, it would be nice if I could find that queen. Look at that, another swarm cell looks like. Well, we'll get rid of that one just in case. Drone comb, that's okay. Pollen. Some um, 
Crude up there in the corner in the bottom. Hey girls. There's eggs in this one, brood. Nice brew pattern. Is that on? Okay, just making sure that it was still on. Sometimes you don't know. Okay, well, I am not having luck finding the queen. There's some big old drones in here, though. She's in here somewhere because there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of eggs. And I wish I could just find her. Lord, I just need to find the green dotted bee. when your hair gets in your face and you can't see. And they are just like exploded today. This is the um this is the biggest box frame, I'll tell you. The biggest hive I've got. I only got two more frames to look at, so Then after that, I don't know what I'll do. Because I really would like to say I could have my queen. Man, are they bringing in the pollen though. Oh 
my, eggs on this one. Newly egg. Oh, so maybe I'm getting close. Oh, it would be awesome. Where are you, sweetie? on this one. Got some drone building here at the end. she is finally she's on this frame right there oh my gosh I found her she's on this frame almost to the last frame but I found her okay so what I can do now that I found her thank gosh thank you Lord um, I can now put the queen excluder on this box. And I'm just going to be very, 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 very careful. Okay. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Okay. And then we're going to give them more space. Okay, we found the queenie. Boy, has she been busy. She is an awesome queen. This will be her second season. Because I got her last year. She's a green dot. And then we're going to add a super to this box. Give these girls some room. Sorry, that was food. Okay, let's get these girls back in. Oh my, let's, let's just give you a view. This is what overload looks like. That's the bottom box where the queen is. That is so crazy. All right, I hope you can see all that, but that is amazing. All right, we're getting ready to do the major split, so. Okay, we are booming at GNR Bee Farm. Okay, let's get these girls back down and uh, we'll put the queen excluder on 
and then we're going to put a super on top. I hope you could see all that because that was awesome. need some more uh, smoke so give me a minute I'm sorry I had to get some all right we need to get these girls like down in the box come on so we can get this queen excluder on Right, the purpose of this queen excluder is to keep her in the bottom box because she's got plenty of resources she's got brood she's got food she's got frames and now we're going to uh, so I will be able to do the split um, without her being in the way because my new queen We'll go over here and the girls the workers they can still come up and i did bring a box with me a super so we're gonna get that and um we're gonna put this super on on top of this highly congested box let me get them out of the way again. Come on, girls. Move out of the way. Don't want to squish you. Come on. Move her off the edge. Then that way, they can move up, and hopefully, they won't swarm. I took those cell boxes off, so... We'll see what happens. And um, I was gonna do this the other couple days from now, but they didn't leave me no choice. They have exploded and these girls need some space. And in this box, I have drawn out some comb from last year that will help them as they move up. We got leftover comb so they can get a head start. And I can start feeding them some um, sugar water, um, which I will go up and get as soon as I get the boxes situated. Okay, this is going to be my split box. There's no queen in this box, just workers and drones until a couple days from now. There's brood, there's food, and then there's empties in this um, eight, eight deep. And it's going over here, over here in this empty spot. Okay, this hive two now has the queen in the bottom. And you can tell they're just like bringing in pollen like no tomorrow. Um, it has the queen excluder on. The queen is down here. And I've added a super. Um, just to give them extra space. I will be bringing them down some sugar water. Um, just or wait until they uh, move up. They do have honey stores in here, a couple. So, but I think they do uh, need some sugar now, so... Um, cause there's just so many in there. Um, and, um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get this on. 
and then uh, when the queen comes, I'll pick her up. I think he said uh, Tuesday. Was gonna do it today, but he only had the one and I need two. So um, we'll just do it on Tuesday when we can get both of them together. So, all right, well, let's get this on and then I'll show you what that's all about. And this'll be hive number three. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, we managed to get the um, hive two completely uh, done for today. We took the, um, we found the queen, she's in the bottom. Um, there's a lot of brood in there. Um, she's still laying. There's a frame of honey in there. Um, and there's pollen. So we put the queen excluder on, we took the top one off, set it over here to make a split out of it. Um, that has some brood in it, some pollen, and some empty, and some honey in it. So it's got just about everything in it too. So it um, doesn't have a queen yet, so, but it will. So they'll have to get used to that, um, whether they'll migrate back over from there to there, we'll see in a couple days. It's only a matter of a few days. Um, but right now they're steady bringing in the pollen. The queen's happy. She's laying like crazy in hive two. This is going to be our new hive three, which I will be... Um, um, putting numbers on them, I think. So just so I can tell which one is which now. So now I'm gonna need to go up and get some sugar water for this hive and that hive. And then we will start on hive one and um, see what that looks like. And if I have that one there, if we need to do a split, which I'm sure we are going to have to probably. So, okay, we're gonna take a little break and uh, catch our wind and whew, take a breath and uh, we'll be back to do hive one. Okay, we went up and got some sugar for the new um, split that's waiting for a queen. And I went and got the sugar water. We're gonna be a little upset for a little bit until um, until we can um, get the queen in there, which will take a couple of days, but then they'll calm down. This other hive is going crazy, look. So we're gonna go ahead and get this on, and then we're gonna give them some sugar, and uh, I'm gonna start on hive one. But we wanna make sure uh, we gotta make sure we got no bees in here. Come on. We got this cover box around it. So that's just for the feeder. Gets a little messy. Okay. We are officially done with this one until we can get the queen. All right, we're gonna start. I'm gonna give them some sugar and then they'll be, uh, hopefully they'll settle down too. And then we're going over here to hive one. All right, we'll see you back in when we get into hive one. Okay, now that we've got hives two and three done, we're going to look at hive one and see what's going on in there. And if I need to split it, I will, which I'm sure I am. But um, 
it's not as busy as per se that one but um, this is a new queen so it's okay but I want to get inside and see what's going on there and um, see what the um, queen is doing in there all right we'll be back when we get inside okay hopefully you can see we're gonna um, it's getting a little bit more breezier it's still early it's like 2 30 but um, it is getting breezier because that storm's coming tomorrow that's why I wanted to get this today like 60 something but um if i can at least find the queen that would be great because like i have to, like i was telling you earlier for that other hive um we're getting um some new virgin queens so we can do this split i don't have time to wait for new queens so This one's not as busy as that one because this is the new queen and um, but I look for it to build it's always been the slower hive of the two so we're just going to take a quick peek and as soon as I find the queen I'm gonna put the queen excluder in between and then I think I'll split it later because it's just so cold well it's not cold but it's breezy and I'm getting tired and I'm sure they are they're tired of me being down here even though they've been pretty pleasant considering This top part shouldn't have too much going on, except for food. See, that's strictly honey. And they've eaten just about all of that and cleaned that back out. So, this is kind of like the empty one. But I'm going to leave that down here. Just so I can... Uh, that's empty. kind of light so number two wasn't nothing and they're just eating so this is a, a good rolled out one might not take near as long as I thought. It might, she might be at the bottom. But she's uh she's marked too. And um we're just eating in this one. That one's kind of light. Oh my. Some comb burr but burr comb building there. Nothing major to worry about. Looks like they're putting pollen, pollen into that frame. Right in here, there's some, some honey, some nectar. That's just a burr comb right there. Nothing major. Okay. Go in this one. She might already be in the bottom. So I could probably just put the queen excluder on. That would be so great. This has got some uh,
That has some burr comb air. Makes it very hard to get the frame in and out. This one's empty. But they're bringing in, trying to bring in pollen on there. You can see them around the edge. I don't see any eggs. Yeah, they're just putting pollen in on that one. I think they've moved pretty much well moved to the bottom, so I might not have to do this one just yet. Yeah, these are all light. Empty. Wow, they've been eating up. Okay, well this one's pretty much empty. So I don't think I have to do anything yet. Oh, at the bottom. Empty frame. They've pretty much ate, ate this one out, too, except for that little bit right there. Um, they got a little bit of pollen right here, but they got honey there, and this is all empty. I don't even see eggs, so we could possibly use this whole box or these frames um, for the um, split, but I do want to check the bottom because this one isn't doing much. So, and that's fine. Looks like um, she took all the resources and went to the bottom. So let's hope so that's what she did. So I don't have to move this just quite yet. And if I have to use these frames, you know, to help over here for hive one, I mean hive two, I can to build out another like I said, this one is very light at the top. This one is not. She's an experienced um, queen in hive two, hive one. She's a new. She's a new queen. They requeened my uh, queen in this one, so they're not going to be as super busy quite yet. They're like more of what April boxes should be. Hive 2 over here is acting like it's summertime, which is great for the numbers for the bees, but I'd like Hive 1 to uh, catch up. So, so I am just going to uh, pop this off right quick. And um, put it off to the side so I can see if um, she's still on there. So give me a second. Um, we're going to put her right here. Very light. That means they've been very busy eating. And they're in here. So we got, let me just see. We have... One, two, three, four, five, five frames in this one. So this one is coming along. It's not, um, it's not that bad. It's not far behind the other. So let's see if you can see in there. And um, I'll show you some frames once we get in. But you can tell they're all clustered right here. And we've had some pretty cool nights. So can't make its mind up if it wants to be spring or winter. So let's go in and we'll see what we can find as far as that queen. See what the queenie, Miss Queenie's doing. Okay.
I'd like to at least find her to make sure she's still doing okay. Even though we don't have to do a split right now with this box. This has got quite a bit of honey still to it. It's got uh, still heavy. So they got plenty of food. And they still got food on that side. So we are going to set this one down. So I know to put that one back. As a matter of fact, I need to put this one back in here. We don't want to forget it. Because that is food. Okay. See if we can't find the queen in this one. Oh, she's got some nice bee numbers on this one. See if we got any brood coming working oh yeah this is um this is just nectar and they're eating this honey left over looks like they're um yeah they're just eating that out let's see what this side looks like Oh, we got some um, brood going on. Yeah, they don't like it when you... Yeah, we got a nice patch of brood right there. I'm trying to see if I see any eggs. A lot of nectar. I see some pollen. And I do see a few eggs. So she has laid. She is laying. And she's not on this ring. So. Alright. So we'll put her this one back in there. see her on this frame looks like they're eating the rest of the cleaning this uh, leftover brood and we got brood on this side so she's not doing bad for the new queen see if we can find any eggs or um, larvae in this side we got pollen up in the corner there pollen here there are some larvae there larva larva that's my glove i thought it was a big um they're packing in pollen can't you see him he's upside down and he's got a uh, pollen stuff to it Oh, there's my queen right there on the corner. Let me see if I can find her. There she goes, right here, right there. There she goes. There she is right there. So, very good. We found the queen. And um, she's just laying, so now we don't have to go no further. I'm going to put the queen excluder on. There she goes.
want her to try to stay on that frame so we can put her back. But there she is. And I just got stung. And I gotta spray myself. All right, I need to uh, smoke myself because I just got stung. I don't know why, but I wasn't being mean. Okay, let's get that stinger out. That wasn't too bad. Okay, girls. We don't want them to be smelling any uh, senses. I saw that on a video. If you get stung to uh, sting, you know, blow smoke on the area that you just got stung so it doesn't give off any um, pheromones from the uh, sting. Just make sure I got that stinger out. Well, first sting or second sting. Here we go. Okay. All right. Well, the queen is down here. So we got plenty of food right there for her and her babies. Um, all right. Let's, uh, Get them slid in and let's get this back one this one back in That stinger's starting to hurt a little, but it'll be all right. Okay. Now, now that the bees, um, that they really aren't on top, I'm going to go ahead and put my queen excluder on here. Just so I know that um, she will stay in the bottom. If I do decide I have to do a split on this one, but right now, it does not look like I need to. So, we will, um, line that up like so. I hope that's the right way. I almost forgot how to do them. Okay, queen excluders on. I can put this, this hive back on. girls can come up when they need to and uh, meanwhile she can uh, so hive one does not 
need a split right now. Um, they're still building. And uh, they got food still. I'm going to put their entrance in the front. Get down in there, sweetie. Um, so they don't really need any liquid like Hive 2. days from my supplier and we'll drop her in the third uh, the little third new hive that we've we've just made and uh, we'll see how it goes and then we'll keep an eye on hive two we've expanded the box to a medium to give it more space and um, the queen is in the bottom and uh, we'll see and we're feeding it we just started feeding to help build out some comb to give them more room. So hope to see you on the next one. God bless you and happy beekeeping.